Hey guys, this is Zach with 3BD Home Theater and today we're going to be mounting a 75 inch Sony TV up over this fireplace here which you can see is not pre-wired. So we're going to be doing a few things. We're going to be installing electrical as well as running all the low voltage wiring behind the wall so everything looks nice and clean. We're going to be using a tilt mount, the 3780S as well as a power bridge kit. This is exactly what we're going to be using. This is the tilt 3780S and then we're going to be using the Datacom uh, power outlet extension which is basically just allowing us to plug in to the existing home's electrical system. So what we're gonna be doing is mounting into the studs here and then cutting a hole on the sheetrock here and cutting a hole down here below, which then all the wires will pass through to the devices. We're gonna be running two HDMIs today, one for the cable and one as a spare for future devices. We are gonna go ahead and get the work started and we'll update you as we complete the work. Thanks for watching. Okay guys, so this is an extremely popular thing to do nowadays. Everybody's wanting the TVs up over the fireplace. They start off over here to the side and on any home, especially in Texas, past the 80s, like in the 90s and present, everything behind the sheetrock is actually dead space. So what we're able to do is just shoot the wiring back behind here down to the bottom. You can see we got our moving blankets laid out on the floor which will collect most of the dust and then we'll sweep everything up when we're finished. We move the TV over here to the side and we're gonna go ahead and get our mount attached to the bolting positions on the back of the TV, get the bracket up on the wall and then cut our sheetrock in. Okay, so here's a few key things that we need to do to start. You can see we have a mark here and a mark here, which is where our studs are inside of the wall. And this is the center mark, which is the center of the mantle. And then right here is where the mount is gonna go, the top of the mount. You can see up there I marked where the top of the TV is going to be. So we measured from the top of the TV down to the mount. We're going to get this bolted into the studs. Okay, so now I have our bracket mounted into the studs with half inch lags right here. And now we can get our hole cut for our pass through box, which I'll probably do it off here to the side just so that when the arms are sitting on the wall, it doesn't hit the pass box. Plus this TV is wide enough to completely cover it. So we'll do it right here. And then we're gonna cut our other hole down here to the side. You guys can see Grayson is using a pencil to mark out where it's going to go. And then we're gonna use a drywall saw to cut that hole. These come in automatic and manual. This is just a, a little inexpensive one you can pick up from Home Depot. Here's the boxes that come in the kit. You have the wall plate receptacle that has the pass through on the left hand side and the power on the right for up here above the fireplace. And then you have the bottom piece, which you can see this is a male adapter and this is essentially just an extension cord that is going to plug from here into the wall over here. And then these are back boxes for high voltage electricity. And we're gonna use Romex, which is what the home was built with, to run from here down to here. Grayson's checking the studs in the wall so that whenever we go to cut our hole in, we don't cut into the stud. And we're gonna make that at the same exact height as the rest of the outlets in the home so that it's uniform. This is our cutout for the bottom of the wall. We're cutting in the top right now. All right guys, up here we have a hole, down here we have a hole, we have a fish rod which is being shot between the two holes. All you have to do is attach your Romax and the two HDMIs to it and pull it down the wall. Okay, so once you have your wiring up through the wall, you're going to get your Romax really tight. It's important that you keep the Romax away from the tube, the exhaust tube on the fireplace. Right here in the center, there's a tube that goes up to the roof and exhausts the heat. If this is in action being used and that Romax is on the tube, you could potentially start a fire. So this is a pretty important step 
Um, you can see I did tighten down that line. And basically we'll just install one side and then pull the other side tight so that it's just being shot right between. The HDMIs, you also want to keep them tight, but it's not as important as the Romax because they're low voltage. Okay guys, so we got our outlet in. You can see it fits like a glove with the cutout and then right here, the wires are passing through for the HDMIs. We did put in full 18 gigabit per second, four by four by four, 4K HDMIs, and they're passing through down here. We're gonna go ahead and get our extension cord plugged in to the wall here. And then we'll get the TV mounted up on the wall and everything connected. Lock rod, this secures the TV to the bracket that's screwed into the studs on the wall. Without this, the TV can just be pushed right off. Extremely important. If you look here, uh, the TV is level with earth. Uh, the mantle's a little bit off. Um, you can see there's like a little bit more mortar over here. Um, but overall, the customer's happy. He's gonna put some decorations up there. Ciao.